Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. Today is another Manic Monday. I can't believe, again, it just always sneaks right up on me. Uh, this weekend was a pretty busy little weekend though, so I always feel like when you have a hectic weekend, it's always hard to kind of jump right into Monday because you're just like, man, like that weekend was busy and here we are just, you know, right into another week, but sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. So of course I have my planner, I have my pocket calendar that has my social media schedule on it. I have my tending list. I brought it this time. I have made some progress. I sent out my welcome email for Chelsea Brown Designs. It was a big feat. I'm super proud of myself. It's been something on my to-do list, honestly, for years to have some sort of like email marketing strategy. So it is just one email. So I don't know if I would call that a strategy per se, but you know what? It's a step in the right direction and I can't wait to send out more emails. Definitely still a very big learning curve. It's just getting used to, you know, a new platform and all that just takes time. So bear with me. If you got a welcome email, it might be a minute until you get another email, but I hope that A, if you're subscribed to my email list and B, you watch this channel and C, you saw last week's video of me talking about email marketing. If you saw my Chelsea Brand Designs welcome email, I hope you all like did a little cheers for me because it was a really big feat and I was like, I hope people realize like how big of a deal this is, even if it is just a, a hello about me sort of email. So yes, at least, you know, if you get it, just open it. You don't even have to click anything. If you want to click anything, that's great, but just open it and that makes me really happy. So oh, I was really happy to color that square in. Um, I did start working on a couple different things. It's n still kind of crazy. June still, still a little hectic. Still trying to get my groove. It is getting a lot better. So I do kind of feel like I have some organization, some control of the chaos. Uh, but each day's a different day. Last week I sprained my ankle. You know, I was just, I was just standing there. Just standing, you know, and gravity was like, I smite you. And the next thing I knew I was on the ground. So I don't quite know what happened, but sprained my ankle. I guess it was time. You know, I took all my bad karma and used it on that, I guess. So I'm doing much better, but that did kind of take me out for the week because I was just bed bound working and had my ankle elevated and iced. So I couldn't really walk around and like do things like that. So just wanted to really baby it so that it would heal faster. So let's dive in to our weekly spread. Um, I'm gonna put these things off to the side. As far as stickers go, let's use the rest. Um, they're over here. These days of the week in the Boho Babe kit. So last week, I believe I did green. No, I did orange. Okay, so we'll do green this week and just kind of alternate it and use up a sheet of stickers because that's always a good thing too. Um, I mean, I don't know. I guess I do know because I have stickers from other shops, but you know, just hoarding stickers. It's just such a sense of accomplishment when you use a full sheet of stickers. <laughs> I definitely have quite the collection. So I try to at least use what I have for the most part so that I'm not adding to my stash because the pros and cons of, you know, having a sticker shop are that you can make stickers whenever you want them, but then you, you end up getting a little intense about it. And I'm like, okay, do we really need, you know, this many stickers? No. Okay, so we have our week all set up, at least sticker wise. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do this green because I feel like I did this green a couple weeks ago and it was really, really dark. So I'm gonna do this like, dusty sage green instead and get my ruler and do all my little accent colors and all of that and you know the drill
Okay, so here is my weekly layout. We have a nice Charlie joining us. He reminds me so much of Zeus sometimes. It's so cute. He does love to be wherever I am. Delta is usually around too. He usually is laying on the floor though. But this is something Zeus used to do. He would hang out while I filmed my plan with me and just nap. And I just love it. I love hanging out with the kitties. <laughs> um, and I love when they make little appearances on the camera too. Because sometimes they're just just off screen um, and I know you guys like seeing them too so he's just snoozing slash attacking pens um, so here's how my week turned out um, filled out my focus and my keep in mind um, we are getting ready to go camping over the weekend so it's something that like I knew it was coming but it was one of those things that snuck up on me you know I kept thinking like oh I still have a week oh I still have a week and now it's like it's here I'm super excited um, so it's just nice to go out and be out in nature and not have cell phone service and just not have to worry about, you know, what's going on in the world and just hang out in nature next to a lake. That's all I want. <laughs> so filled out kind of what I need to get done for each day. Thursday is pretty blank because I'm going to use it just as a catch up day uh, because Wednesday I do want to uh, continue designing and get another batch of kits monthly kits designed so that when I come back from the camping trip I don't have to like stress design and worry about that so that's a big goal of mine I have a love-hate relationship with kits they're so much fun and I love designing them but it is a lot it's a hefty to-do list especially with a uh, passion planner having three sizes and start days that always just makes things a tad bit more difficult because I have to design it in three sizes and two different start days and so I get very like yes I love this design I love this kit to like oh my gosh I'm still designing this kit it feels like it's been five years so uh, I want to get a head start on it because it is a chunk of time um, so let's go ahead and flip into our daily layouts of course we have the free social media tracker by Amplify Planner to fill that out for social media um, but I'm going to go ahead and, of course, do all my stickering uh, for the week. I am going to continue this Boho Babe kit just because I do still have a good chunk of stickers left over. I am getting, you know, itching to maybe try a different color combination, but I'm just not sure if it'll happen. I might try to just tough it out and finish out the month. And I do uh, need to get my Q3 planner. I always have to think about it because designing the planners I'm like Q4 and I'm like we're in Q2 and I'm like what quarter are we in what quarter are we getting ready for sometimes I really have to sit and think about it so I do need to prep my Q3 planner uh, so if you guys want to see a video about that let me know in the comments uh, just you know it's not a ton of work it is a lot of just stickering um, but it's always really fun setting up a new planner uh, having a quarterly planner even though Amplify Planner you know is my business <laughs> It's so much fun getting like a new planner every quarter and having that shiny new planner feeling like I never get bored and if I mess up it's fine because I'm just going to have a new planner soon. Like I don't know it's just a, a fun little feeling that I feel like hasn't been in the planner world very often just having a quarterly planner system. Okay so enough dilly dallying. Let's go ahead and get started with stickering. So in typical Manic Monday fashion, my camera got too hot. It's like super hot this week here in Colorado. So my camera got too hot and overheated and drained my battery. And so while I was letting that charge really quick, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go through and finish my stickering. And then I just added in my morning routine, evening routine, the days I'm feeding the horses. Um, and then our little like weekend plans really quick. So I was like, might as well, because we're just going to fast forward through it all once, you know, if I was just filming it, so you wouldn't really see it anyways. And then I went ahead and started working on my social media tracker, and then my pen ran out of ink. So, while I love, like, these barrels, you just, you can't see when you're getting low on ink. And so, my favorite pen ran out of ink. So, then I was trying to find a pen that I liked. Uh, because I have a bunch of pens up here in the filming studio 
and I grabbed this uh, Energel, this Pentel Energel in the 0 0.3 size, and I liked it, but it was a little scratchy. So then I grabbed this Pilot Juice Pen, and it, could, it seemed to have like the same consistency as the G2s. I mean, you would think they're made by the same same people, same company. And so I started using this, but then it got really smudgy. So it's not my favorite. There's definitely, I don't know if you can see it, uh, but it's really smudgy like where my hand was, maybe because it is so hot and my hand was sweating and it just smudged it everywhere. And then <laughs> I wrote down the wrong week of social media for Amplify Planner. I wrote the following weeks, not this week's. So I might just print out a new sticker and put it over and start fresh. <laughs> oh, what a mess. So that being said, I'm going to go get a really big glass of cold water because it is toasty and fill out my to-do list. But yeah, that was, you know, a typical uh, manic Monday for you. Um, I'm super excited for this week. There's some really exciting things I have planned. Uh, one thing is doing the passion journal reviews. I know they've been out for a little bit and there's some good reviews out there from like bullet journals, bullet journalers, but I'm not a bullet journaler. I love bullet journals, but I just don't, I just don't do it. It's too time consuming for me. It would never get done. And then I wouldn't get anything done, but I appreciate those that do. So I thought it would be an interesting perspective for me to review the passion journals based on a planner verse perspective and what you could use them for besides bullet journaling. Cause I think that's the big thing is everyone's like, it's a bullet journal. And I'm like, no, but like, what if you have a planner and a journal? So if there's any questions you have about the passion journals in regards to not necessarily the specifics, you know, the page count and the paperweight and all that, like for the most part, we know that stuff. It's on the, it's on their website. Like what things do you want to know about the passion journals that I could cover in a video? Let me know in the comments. We will also be doing a Cosmic Mint tab pairing video. That's been on my list. Spraining my ankle really messed up my YouTube video filmingness. So that's on my list doing the Cosmic Mint tab pairing. And then like I said, we're going camping this weekend. So I thought it might be fun to do a day in the life camping. Is that something you guys would be interested in? Uh, just seeing, I don't know, how we set up our campsite. We do glamp a little. I am going to say we have an old 80s. Volkswagen camper van and she's amazing so it is a little glampy but you know what I'm like I'm 31 years old I'm not sleeping on the ground <laughs> sleeping in a van and it's amazing uh so let me know if you guys would want to see that and I could at least you know bring the camera and a tripod up and and see you see what we end up filming uh but I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little manic Monday I of course did not go according to plan but that's just how Mondays are sometimes uh, and if you haven't already please make sure to like and subscribe it really does help my channel grow and I will see you guys next time bye